our first contestant. Will you enter and sign in, please? Keith E. David. Davis, where are you from? Dunbar, West Virginia. Dunbar, West Virginia. Yes, nice to have you with us. May I present our panel? And now, Mr. Davis, will you join me over here and tell me, do you know how we keep score on what's my line? I do. Fine, then we'll let the audience at home and the audience here in the theater know exactly what your line is. Panel, we can tell you that Mr. Davis is salaried and deals in a service, and we'll begin the general questioning with uh, Bennett Surf. Mr. Davis, I guess the big story of the week was a certain amount of unsettlement in the financial district. Have you got anything whatever to do with Wall Street or the financial business? No. <laughs> One down and nine to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, could I use your services, Mr. Davis? <laughs> yes, ma'am. You I mean, could, um, you know, if the circumstances were such that you felt the need of these services, you could uh, make use of them. And if I were in the right place at the right time? If you were in the right place at the right time. Uh, do you do your work outside of New York, Mr. Davis? Yes. Uh, do you, people come to you? Yes. Uh, do you then uh, do anything physical for them? <laughs> well, I think we could agree that um, the proper utilization of the service which you uh, purvey would tend certainly to uh, have some impact physically as well as otherwise on those who receive the service, yes. Uh, they come to you? Yes. And you are indoors at that time? Sometimes. Oh, you can be out of doors too and, they, and yes. still render the same service? Yes. Um, do you, is it necessary for you to touch the people in order to render the service? Sometimes. <laughs> do people ever bring animals to you? No. <laughs> no. Two down and eight to go, Buddy Hackett. Uh, this service that you perform, does it uh, <laughs> necessitate working with live people? Yes. <laughs> And after you finish your service with these people, are they still alive? <laughs> we hope so. Uh, is this service that you render, allegedly, supposed to make people feel better? That is a matter of opinion. <laughs> I would say here again, buddy, if I may, that those who come uh, and voluntarily accept this service uh, may very well, in the normal course of events, have a uh, better sense of physical well-being and perhaps even mental well-being, but depend entirely on the circumstance. Well, that, according to your answer, sir, I'm going to take a wild guess and say that you are an evangelist minister of some sort. <laughs> no. That's three down. Oh, you first said, yeah, it sounds very classy. <laughs> three down, seven to go, Miss Francis. Uh, do you, by any chance, work for a non-profit making organization? I do. Is it some branch of the government? Yes. Is it the federal government? Yes. Uh, is it the legislative branch of the government? No. Four down and six to go, Mr. Sir. Mr. Davis, are you in one of the bureaus that gives some help to people in one way or another? Like fisheries or hunting? No. No, no fisheries or hunting. That's five down and five to go, Miss Kilgallen. You work for the government and you can work either indoors or outdoors. Uh, can you do this work without wearing a distinctive uniform that I would recognize instantly? No. Six down and four to go, Mr. Hackett. And you work for the government and you wear a uniform? Yes. Uh, 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 this question, I would say, I take a chance that you don't, you're not a member of the armed forces. Why? I would say, why do I take a chance? There's been no call for a conference. You want to put uh, the question, are you? John, John, it was just a reaction. I'm sorry. Uh, oh. 
Go ahead, buddy. Oh, Excuse are me. you a member of the armed forces? Yes. Well, <laughs> <laughs> work, daddy, baby. Oh. Um, see, that happened. Are you with the Marine Corps? Yes. Uh. Are you a man who alters people's life when you administer this service to them? Alters people's life? Yeah. What, what is the term of reference? Buddy? In other words, uh, I was like assuming if he were a recruiting officer, say, in the Marine Corps, someone came to him, their life would surely be altered once he said... <laughs> Well, I guess we have to accept there that your question was, is he a recruiting officer of the United States Marine Corps? Yes, yes, That's yes. right. The answer is no. I knew that. Seven down and three to go, Miss Preston. Did you have anything to do with the recovery of uh, a gentleman who went into orbit recently? No. Eight down and two to go, Mr. Sir. Mr. Davis, are you an officer in the Marine Corps? No. Nine down and one to go, Miss Kilgallen. Do you have anything to do with the preparation of food or drinks? No. Ten down and no more to go, and Mr. Davis has a unique position in the Marine Corps. He is a drill sergeant for the women's Marines, the women Marines, and... Needless to say, there is only one other man in the nation with enough courage to take this on. You have one colleague, I believe, in the Marine Corps. Who I do, Staff Sergeant. Mr. 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 Davis, do you have to pin a medal on any of these girls? Uh, Mr. Davis uh, trains in first aid, military courtesy, and, and uh, military history, and you also give them calisthenics and... and uh, Not calisthenics, uh, that is handled by a woman. That is uh, we do teach them all drill and all basic military subjects. Now, I think How are you... they on the whole? Outstanding. Outstanding. <laughs> There's a man. Now, here's a Marine, and they're afraid of nothing, and they're Dorothy and Arlene, and you heard that answer. Now, he's afraid of that Dorothy and Arlene on the battle. No, I'm just teasing. But I do think it needs to be said that um, Sergeant Davis is a drill instructor, which is the highest rank, I believe, sir, that uh, the Marine Corps has for enlisted personnel. Is One, that of right? One of the highest One of the highest positions. And he trained with men... And when they felt he'd developed the right kind of proficiency with men, then they let him go over and be a drill instructor for women. Is that right? Correct. <laughs> I will say this. You have a great corps. It's a wonderful corps, and you, I think, exemplify one of the reasons it's great. Uh, Sergeant has been in the Marine Corps since he was 17 years old, and I don't think you look a day over 18 right now. It must be good for you. Thank nice you, Nice to have you with us. Now let's 